Merrick Von Egg. And we start tonight, though, with one of the biggest parades in Central Florida, the Pride Parade through downtown Orlando on Gay Pride Weekend. And this year in particular, it has special meaning. News 6's Brittany Harris is out there live right now. And Brittany, one of the floats was designed by staff members of the Pulse nightclub. That's right, Eric. They spent a great deal of time putting this float together and it was absolutely beautiful and brought forth a lot of different emotions. Their goal, though, to remember the good times and not the bad. The crowd roared as the float passed through the streets of downtown. You can see this group walking ahead of it, spelling out the word pulse and on the actual float were pulse nightclub employees along with survivors and family members who lost loved ones. And then behind the float were people carrying 49 kites that looked like angels and each angel had a victim's name on it. Survivor Orlando Torres helped with the construction of the float and talked to us before the parade started. He says this day is going to be bittersweet. We're going to be overwhelmed by by the support and the cheering and the and the you know of seeing where the Grand Marshal float and I, and I'm sure they're going to be proud seeing us representing for our 49 and 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 Pulse and trying to keep Pulse alive and going in the near future. And now that the parade is over, you can see a lot of people walking around. They're trying to clear the streets, but there are a lot of celebrations down here tonight. One of them is happening over at Washington and Summerlin. There'll be several stages over there with live music. And Eric, if anyone out there is planning to come down here, make sure you plan ahead because there are a lot of road closures. And I know you'll have more on that tonight at 11 when we see again, Brittany. Thank you.